This deck, I'm telling you, think about what you guys are gonna face. If she's a tier limit, if she's a tier limit, if she's a tier limit. So if you build your Pendulum deck, or any deck for that matter to destroy it, D Shifter's main deck, Pendulum is very much a force this meta. So we're gonna get straight to this video. Let's get it. The idea of this, it is pure magicians. So you're gonna max out on as many magicians as possible. If you look at this, what is what are all magicians? They're all level four. So what by itself, you know what defeats the tier zero deck of the format? What hand traps are they gonna have against you? I know, I know, pen magician time, baby. It's coming now. I'm telling you guys right now, not only am I the best Yu-Gi-Oh player in the world, not only am I, am I the best pen jump player in the world, but I'm the best luster player in the world, baby. From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elestrals. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits, clash for victory, ascend to immortality. Elestrals card game, available now on Kickstarter. So if you guys wanna be a part of history, of the brand new TCG that's gonna conquer the meta. That's how you know I talk about Pendulum too much, man. All we do is conquer the meta. How about conquer the card game scene? Highly believe in it. So go check out down below. The first link down below, you'll see a Kickstarter. Be a part of the exclusive launch. The Kickstarter is Founders Edition and only available for a limited time until December 4th. So get yours now in the link below. Let's get back to the video. You guys be a part of history. And if you guys wanna learn how to play the game, I did a vlog with my brother playing the game. That's right, Trip 2.0, baby. And it was so much fun. I'm literally addicted to the game. I'm actually gonna play with this encoder tonight. And let's get back to the video. Let's go. Bisted cards, Ashizu cards, I don't care. All their hand traps or hand traps other people will play, Skullmeister, Bell, DD Crow. If you have nothing in your graveyard and you purposely build your deck with nothing in the graveyard, no revolution dragon, a special back Mister. Don't let their Shizu get any value. I almost did not even play Celine. I'm only playing Celine because they're going to give me grave cards. But you don't want to utilize any grave cards at all to make half their deck useless. So now you're basically playing a combo deck that puts up five negates against a 20 card deck because half their deck is useless. That's the idea. So that's why you have to use cards like this and essentially turbo out like the dwellers. I'll explain everything like as we get on. Also, big shout out to the new sleeves. If you guys want to get your beautiful astrograph sleeve, can you imagine the sauce of playing a Beyond the Pendulum mat with astrograph sleeves with a pendulum deck? I think that's probably why you will all go undefeated every single match you play, especially in YCSs and not in your dreams. So after this, we're going to be playing just literally maxed out of all the good magicians. These are the 15 good ones. These are the ones that in some manner will give you a plus one eventually. If I could play five of each of them, I would. These are the best ones and they give you the value. And now the other cards are going to be either extenders or cards that help with the combo or one ofs. So these are the 15 cards you get to every game. And because of cards like Pen Call, Duelist Alliance, and Prosperity, there's a bunch of versions of Prosperity, don't worry. But because of all these, you always get access to them. Next, the extenders. You just need to draw one and you play seven. You play three Curtain Razor because it's a level four. You play three Fenrir and one Souls. So Fenrir, beyond the Pendulum, just has one Pendulum plus a monster. You can also play Bisted Magma Mutt. You can play Druid Worm as well. They also do the same purpose, being an extender. But there are scenarios when you go first where you can't really use it. And I don't want my opponent to choose this card to choose their own card for my Magma Mutt not to summon. So I opted for these to be the best scenarios. And you can also special the Fenrir, add one and Pendulum summon it. And because you're playing yeah, Prosperity as well, which if you guys want a budget version, I can show you guys in a later video the budget versions. Let me know in the comments. There's really 10 extenders. So when you play these 10 extenders with these 15 broken magicians, your end board is completely unbreakable times five against the Shizu Chillament. So it's very, very, very powerful and allows you to play go second cards like the Fenrir and the D-Shifter, which I'll get to a little later, which you can search as well, by the way. Now the one ofs that we play, you play one of each of these because they are not as powerful as a double iris which you want to get to every time but they're all searchable you have a mystic mine out in dragon pit which is searchable by your entire deck pendulum graph the trap card is also a mystic mine out and all these are searchable by your entire deck goose lions double eyes whatever wisdom eye pen call they all get all these cards you play one pen sork because beyond the pendulum will search it to pop and that's how you pop your double iris you don't need needle fiber and one of these for utility plus one and for utility you don't need more of any and then the best spells you play this as well as a trap a lot of people uh say that i'm the best pendulum player in the world because of my massive brain that is bigger than my opponent's brains i have something else that's much more massive than my opponents and it's not my brain but it's the amount of love that i have for these sleeves 
these amazing Ostagraf sleeves that you guys can get now down in the description below. I gotta give a big shout out to Sleeve Cheap. I fucking love these sleeves, guys. Literally never played with any other sleeves in my life. I love these, and I, I don't think there's a greater flex in the world than playing on a pendulum playmat with pendulum sleeves with a pendulum deck. Gotta go check out their new releases down in the description below. They're absolutely epic. Brand new release. Go get your OCG sleeves now. But you guys better pick the pendulum sleeves. I'm watching. So get your sleeves now. You want to get access to these every single time. If you're able to set up a, a scenario where you have these two set, you have your dweller, you could pass on dweller pass and set up the OTK for afterwards. That's the game plan. But having cards like this give you infinite follow-up as well as the, the Baron you're going to have, the Apeloza and stuff like that. And lastly, three dimension shifter. With one common, cause we're, that's, cause we're cool like that. And because they're not, none of them are mine. The reason why you don't play D shifter is D shifter single handedly destroys the shifter element, which is gonna be 80% of the decks you're gonna face. And there's a combo in the extra deck that searches dimension shifter. And I'm, I don't play it, but I was really close to do so. I'll explain that and then, I'll explain it now. We don't have to wait till the end of the video. So what you do is you play double time star, one time star searches D Shifter, the other time star searches Exodus. That's right, because we're Exodia, baby. And then you make F Zero and you make the Draco Future, or whatever. And then you go Exodus, you resolve your Shifter, and you go Apeloza. And the following turn, you can do the same thing as well if you keep the time stars. If, it, if they're playing a deck like Tier Limit, you don't even need to go into F Zero. But just three of them are good. Now for the extra deck. I'm gonna show you guys the cards that are there's nine cards that you need to play and the other six are basically the prosperity targets but they're also good like just overall value that you could use at different times and like a toolbox beyond the pendulum because she's beautiful one Celine one Apollos one access code that's really all you need if you want to play a second beyond the pendulum you can but you OTK by then so you don't really need it the XYZs that are like just these are the mandatory ones but I still play two Dweller because there are a lot of scenarios with tier limit where you could literally just go Dweller, get as many human being value as possible, and then just use Dweller on their turn. Let them break their board with no interruptions. Then you just obliterate them or even just go into Dweller again. Because the extra deck it has so much space because you're just playing pure Magician with no Draco Slayer, you have the capability to play whatever you want. Which is also why we play the actual best rank 4 in Yu-Gi-Oh! Gaga Ga Cowboy. Because when you want to utilize it, there's a lot of monsters like Bisted Magnumut with very high attack points. So you're going to need to find a way to destroy the Bisted Magnumuts. It, because it has 2,500 attack. And Gaga Cowboy's effect says it turns to 2,500, but Magnumuts goes to 2,000. So you destroy it. And then you Zeus on top. Which is the card that I would borrow from my friend. So you also play Zeus. And then the Synchros. Uh, well, one last X Y Z that I play. I also play one Dark, but I'm debating cutting it. And one Baron and one Ignister. This could be Clear Wing, and that is the extra deck. For the side deck, I'm not going to show you guys my side deck, but it's very simple. Sphere Modes, Lava Golems, Lightning Storms, just blow out cards. But Sphere Mode and Lava Golem with, with Fenrir and D Shifter, you're playing so and Talents, you're playing so many blowouts against an already garbage board of Ishizu, where their board ends on like think of this Dweller. All the issues with cards in their grave, all their bistids, their Skullmeister or Ghost Ball that they're playing. Realistically, what are these doing to Pendulums? They are useless cards. So the actual interruptions you have to deal with is a potential Baron, if they go through that route, a Salyak, and an, an Elf. And I'll let them go with Lucaros and Kaleido. They're still getting coughed up. It doesn't matter. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to go check out the playmats on TripGaming.com and click the link down below to check out the beautiful sleeves on Sleeve Chief. We're partnering up with them for the next few months. They have pendulum OCG sleeves that are absolutely beautiful. From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elestrals. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits. Clash for victory. Ascend to immortality. Elestrals Card Game, available now on Kickstarter.